Yo guys, what is up? Uh, my name is YGO Days, and I'm back. Not with Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, here's the deal. I've gotten some other hobbies, as you, have, as you can see right here. Very expensive hobbies as well, but not actually. And I'll explain that in a second. But it turns out, guys, that Yu-Gi-Oh is just way too expensive for my budget, and I cannot keep making videos at all. I don't have access to a computer during the weekdays, and I also don't have access to a lot of money to make more deck profiles. So what you're going to be getting is you're going to be getting just some random content, depending on... <laughs> just to keep you guys enjoyed until the summer, whenever I'm able to get a job and fund more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. So, until then, I'll be doing some, like, playing card deck reviews and maybe some card tree videos. Uh, if you don't know what card tree is, it is the art of shuffling cards, but it's a little bit more than that. You have to see it. It's very hard to explain, but uh, let's get into this deck review. Now, if you just play Yu-Gi-Oh, this may not be very entertaining to you, but there is a little special thing at the end, so just wait to that, um, and let's get into it. So, let me just check. See, it's right here. Okay. So, this is a brand new deck by uh, an Austin-based company called Howler Bros. And I actually went to their actual store to purchase these. I bought four of them. Uh, they're only $10 each. Uh, it is also a very limited deck. Getting it online, uh, you can only do that a little bit. They're about to go out of stock on the Heller Bros. website. They're probably already gone on Theory 11 for sure. Uh, this deck is really nice. I do live in Austin, so it's really nice to have a deck that is in my state, or sorry, city. As you can see, the side here it says Howler. Let's go ahead and take off the cellophane. I'm gonna have to put it back on later. It's like airtight, but we're not gonna need the cellophane quite yet. Oh well, at all. So if we go ahead and take a look at the box, as you can see here, let me change the focus onto that. Focus. I don't think it can focus. Uh, there we go. Okay. So as you can see. Uh, it has a really, this is the back design, it's really nice. The bros and the white is all shiny on the front. And if you can see this, it's bumping out a little bit. I think it's the same for the side. Yeah, the letters bump out a little bit and they're also very shiny. The back looks like this with all the pips, like a preview of what the pips look like. It's got some pineapples and some bananas and some eyes in the jungle. Really, really nice. Howler bros, heed the call, their logo. Um, so this is Howler, as you can see right here. So it's 311, some other stuff. I'm too lazy to read it. Uh, see right here, HB. Really nice and a really cool looking custom seal that says Heed the Call. So let's go ahead and get into the deck. So right out of the box, you get two ad cards. Now, uh, I kind of wish these had the normal backs, but they do not. They also say Howler four times over the leaf and then it says heed the call over two bananas now here's the best part about this deck which makes it so cool is the brown i don't know if you can see this is actually kind of shiny it's got like a shiny ink if you can see that and oh these are just ad cards not that cool but when you realize that the deck every single monkey has this holo shiny ink let me bring my light over here see that it's shiny and it looks really nice. So, the deck right out of the box feels amazing. It feels just like a Monarchs deck. We've ever had one of those and a lot of other decks from 311. But, uh, yeah, the deck feels really nice. There's a nice riffle fan. Let's go ahead and try a thumb fan. I have used it a little bit, as you can see, it doesn't fan perfectly anymore. But it looks really, really nice when doing flourishes. So if you go ahead and take a nice look at the back design, bananas also do have that brown shiny parts and the green. Really, really nice back. It's got some pretty thin borders. I love I love thin 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 borders. So one another thing is the pips are a little bit thicker with a different font. And the red is a little bit more pinkish, but the black is still pretty black. And the pips are all custom. They're a little different than normal. This is like a full equal, uh, square instead of just a rectangle. Uh, then we, all the face cards are different in their own way, and they're all like crowns. 
The kings and queens are crowns made out of the pips, whereas the jacks are all a special thing from the forest and the jungle. As you can see, we got some arrows. Get another jack so I can show you what I mean. Like it's like a bongo, and then I don't know what the heck that is. It's just like some, I think it's a fishing line or something. And uh, yeah, and then you see the king of spades has, it's made out of spades. So that's pretty cool, queen. Um, yeah, there's not much difference. Uh, let's go ahead and get the jokers out. So the jokers are really nice. I love Jay Fletcher's. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this deck is designed by Jay Fletcher. He's an amazing designer. I love his stuff. Um, this like geometrical look of his art is absolutely amazing. As you can see, he's got like a parrot or whatever, toucan, whatever it's called. And we got a snake going up a stick. It's like lightning stuff on the side, stimmer here. Uh, sound and stuff and some leaves and both say uh, bros and jokers so this deck is really nice um, and now what you've all been waiting for I have a little compilation I made of me using the deck <laughs> it sucks but I had my exposure on my white shirt on a deck that has white backs and white borders and I'm white uh, so basically there's just a big white person with white cards, so it's very hard to see the cards. Sorry about that. It didn't turn out too bad. You can still see the back since they're not white, but everything else kind of blends together. So please just ignore that and just enjoy the uh, cardistry. <laughs> 